Hello and welcome back to the Gamer Muscle YouTube channel. Hit that like button for extra roll cage reinforcement. Code Masters! Why? Ah, uh, right, let's start this off with some positivity. I'm sip my tea. Right, so I've been telling everyone to get Dirt Rally 2.0 because basically, let, let's be realistic here. We've got Dirt Rally 1.0 or Dirt Rally. We've got Richard Burns Rally and we've got Dirt Rally 2.0. <laughs> That's it. When it comes to drive it, uh, rally driving simulators or realistic rally games that work well with force feedback wheels, shifters and all what have you, um, you know, pedals, it's a simulator. It gets you as close as possible on a computer at home, poverty land, to driving a rally car without throwing money into a, into a, into a bonfire. Dirt Rally, Dirt Rally 2.0 and RBR. That's it. So basically, I've been saying get Dirt Rally 2.0 Deluxe if you like rally driving because there's no other option. And I would still stick with that for the most part. But Dirt Rally 2.0 came out this morning at 1 in the morning. Uh, I've been having the press version. I've had some I've had some privy, preview access to it. And I've really enjoyed it. And it's been fantastic. You see me live stream it. We've done about 10 hours of live streaming. I don't stream stuff for more than like 6 hours unless I like it. So... Really good. Really good. Really happy with it. Now, this morning, and actually, I noticed this last night, just before it went live in the UK, we, we couldn't get, get into stuff properly because it was connected to RaceNet, connected to RaceNet. I thought, oh, you know what? Maybe they're, maybe they're rolling out a patch because the game's actually going publicly live. Then I start getting emails from people going, oh, um, Game of Muscle, do you, do you realise that you need online multi multiplayer just to play the single player? I'm like, no. Didn't notice that particularly when I was playing it because it was just loading and working straight away. I'm signed into RaceNet, but I thought, you know, let's just maybe something it does. Well, it turns out you need internet multiplayer access to play Dirt Rally 2 single player. And unfortunately, it looks like Codemasters either underestimated the popularity that Dirt Rally 2.0 would have at launch. But maybe, maybe they thought, oh, you know, it won't be popular because it's a rally game. We made a good game, but it won't be popular. So they didn't load test the servers or something. Now, basically, what happens is not only do you have the fundamental issue of having to be online to play a single player game, but also the issue that if they have server problems, the you, you, you have loading screens. At best, you have long intermittent loading as it tries to connect to a server. And at worst, you can't connect to it at all um, to get to a server. Oh, no, that's probably not even worse. Worse is that it can half connect to it or sort of connect at one point when you first load in. You spend 30 minutes driving, doing something that's, uh, you know, you actually finally don't crash into a tree. You finally manage to avoid the Kibitza technique and you manage to actually do a good time. And you're like, oh, boy, I was so glad with myself. I'm really, really happy I did that. And then it doesn't save it and you lose your progress because it has a connection error to the server. Now, that's the first issue of it being slow to connect. I'm pretty sure Codemasters will fix that pretty soon. You know, they get a spike of load. They just need to get some more servers. Maybe there's some database stuff that needs sorting out or whatever. These are the kind of things that always happen with multiplayer stuff at launch because there's a massive spike in users and, you know, whatever. They will, they will have it fixed. I'm 99.9.999. I am i do not put an extra point in there. I'm pretty sure that'll be fixed. So, great. That, that will probably work after this this is an early access pre-order deluxe period so you know i'm pretty sure it'll be fixed having said that that's not really the problem the issue is putting single player behind a multiplayer like having to be online to access single player now i know they've integrated scoreboards uh, so you can see your friends times and stuff and compare yourselves against them and that is really cool, and that's awesome, and you do need to connect to a server to do that. But that kind of stuff needs to be separated out either through a user option so that you can go, oh, you, you will have to connect to the internet if you want to share your times with friends to compare against them, or it needs to be separated out so it only displays it if a person's got, got internet there. We're not at a point technologically where everybody has a perfect internet connection. Codemasters are based in the UK. At the moment, there's a little bit of political trouble going on in the UK. And, you know, oh no, to be fair, to be fair, we're probably not going to have electricity. That's quite possible. So the internet's not really going to matter, is it? So I can see where they're coming from. But aside from that, not everybody has perfect internet that's always on. Some people are using uh, dongles, remote internet. Some people have intermittent internet. Some people live in countries that don't have perfect internet. You know, 
you, if you buy a game that's got a single player to it, I don't think it's an unreasonable expectation that it should work to a reasonable level without needing to connect online constantly, repeatedly, for something like scoreboards. I mean, okay, if you're doing racing against, if you're doing the rallycross against other people, then, you know, it's pretty, it's multiplayer. Multiplayer, proper multiplayer. You expect to need an internet connection. But for, for a rally game, and again, I, I appreciate they've integrated certain, like, uh, scoreboard stuff and the point system and they want to stop cheaters and they want to like have it all evened out and there might be some cross stuff going going across and they've got a store in the game and they probably want to check people that bought stuff. I understand that. I appreciate that from a business perspective. But generally speaking, from a sort of actual consumer perspective, I don't think it's too hard to ask for having the ability to buy a game and be able to play the single player without having to connect to the internet. So, and the problem is, and the issue is, going back to the other, the other thing, outside of just, uh, and you could argue that's a subjective thing, that, you know, maybe, maybe I'm old-fashioned, and maybe other people are old-fashioned, and maybe we should expect to be always connected. Okay, that's, that's an argument, whatever. But going back to the, the start of the, uh, the, the points here, what happens when the servers go down is stuff like what's happening now. Uh, or when they're under heavy load, people can't connect to it. It ruins the game. There's so much backlash online. Go on Reddit. There's so many people that are like, oh my God, it's a good rally game. I'm hyped. I want to pre-order the deluxe thing. I'm willing to spend quite a lot of money on a game. People, aren't, people don't have money to burn at the moment. We're not... People are in the saving mode for the most part. And people, are still, people actually got hyped for this. People I, that generally don't get hyped for, for, for rally games have got hype for this. And now, what has burnt that, derailed the hype train and burnt the hype train to the guy? There's bodies. Bodies all over the train tracks. The hype train it hasn't just derailed. It's crashed into a primary school. Bodies everywhere. Burning. Oh, it's terrible. Because people see this and they're like, oh, well, you know what? You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to get it because, uh, well, I don't know if the server's going to work. I don't know if in four years' time... Uh, I'm going to play this game because maybe the servers won't be on anymore. Maybe it'll be abandoned. A lot of developers uh, abandon the servers, uh, so maybe it won't work at all. You know what? Personally, uh, I actually really like Dirt 3. It's not uh, its not really a simulator. It's more on the arcade side. You know why I stopped playing Dirt 3? Because of the Windows, stupid Windows nonsense, where you had to like log into your Windows account and you had to be online and then it, then it was taken out and then it didn't work properly. And, so it's like, oh, I'd really like to play that game. So I, I've gone back to want to play Dirt 3, but I don't bother anymore and I don't play it. And so moving forwards, I go, you know what? If a game has those kind of that kind of um, online DRM weirdness to it, it, it's a big thing of me going, well, you know what? I just, no, I, I can't be bothered with it. And as people get older, bolder, boring, train spottery and more into flight simulators, they get more like that. And, I, I, you know, I think it does just kill the hype for stuff and it does really ruin the game. Um, oh, it's so frustrating. It is, I wouldn't care if this was a rubbish game. I wouldn't care. But it's a really good rally title. It's awesome. And why do Codemasters... Codemasters seem to do this particularly. Is that they do absolutely amazing stuff. The sounds. The, the graphics. They've actually got the really good physics in this. They've done a really good job. There's so much to this game that's fantastic. The, 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 some of the details, the tracks. Oh, there's so much that's really good. It I, really hypes me up, makes me really optimistic for, for, for games development, not just being a case of, oh, let's just make a game that will get some sales. It ticks those boxes. You can see with Dirt Rally 2.0 that actually, you know, there's some heart, some soul, some love. Uh, this is turning into a weird erotic novel. But, you know, you can tell there's, there's something there. There's a bit of pizzazz. A bit of pizzazz, boys. You know, why then do stupid shit? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have like five pints of tea today. So, yeah, well, I mean, that pretty much sums it up. I, I just, I, I'm, I'm putting this out there uh, so everyone's aware. Because I've told people to buy this. And, I, I, I you know... I would still recommend it, but you just have to keep in mind that this is this is in the game, and this you've got this uh, always online thing. Until Codemasters do a tweet saying, "Oh, you know, we might have we've improved it, or we've, uh, you know, whatever," you've got to be aware of this. Uh, and lots of hardly any reviewers of the game have talked about this because it wasn't particularly apparent in the in the press version of the game, and 
this is a major thing. This is a massive thing. It was a problem with GT Sport as well. So to be fair to get it's not just Codemasters. Other developers do it. Other publishers do stuff like this. So I'm not just ragging on Codemasters. I know I know that is kind of a hobby, but I, I'm not. This this is a games industry wide thing, and yeah, and, and, and to be clear. I appreciate the business arguments for it. I appreciate the subjective arguments where you could go back and forth on it uh, and then the consumer side of it. But this is all about just being transparent. If you're buying Dirt Rally 2.0, be aware that this this is this is the case at the moment. Um, and so that's why I'm putting this out there. I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to play some Dirt Rally 2.0 in the future. Uh, there's more stages to play for it. I finally got through the bloody front wheel drive cars. <laughs> Ah, oh, dear God, front-wheel drive. And I'm looking forward to driving some of the more rear-wheel drive cars. Genuinely enjoy, uh, looking forward to driving some of the different vehicles in this because, you know, they've done a good job with the different cars. Uh, and they're, they're actually genuinely fun to try the different vehicles. And there's a bunch of stuff I want to do with this, with the setups and things. So it's a good it's a good game. But, uh, right, yeah, so I don't want really to see Witter on it much longer. Uh, let me know what you guys think in, in the uh, comments. Sorry this isn't the, the most hyped positive videos but uh, there you go that's it i mean click the subscribe button click the like button uh, com complain complain to your local parliamentarian you do what you have to do uh d watch us on our live stream I i'll see you guys soon thanks thanks for watching this really appreciate you uh, uh having bleeding eardrums you know that's what you come here for goodbye goodbye everybody